everyone, it's Alma from the Cat's Pajamas and I'm here to show you how to make pinwheels using our Cut-Ups Pinwheel Die. Here's our pinwheel die. It has a large pinwheel, a small pinwheel, and four different shaped spacers. You're going to put the paper on the Cut-Ups Die or under the Cut-Ups Die and you're going to run it through the die cut machine. In addition to the paper that's being cut by the die cut, you're going to need a pin or something to go through the center as well as something it needs to attach to, like a skewer or a pencil. As you see, the cut-ups die cuts, oops, cuts the pinwheel perfectly, cuts the little um, slits that you need to make the pinwheel. You're going to poke out any paper that's stuck for each pinwheel you're going to need a square and you're going to need one of those center spacers. You're going to check and make sure that all the holes are completely clear. Then you take your scissors and you clip from the corner point to the diagonal, basically releasing those little points. Then what I like to do is I like to run those corners with the, the holes in them through my fingers just so that it bends the fiber, fiber a little bit and gives it a nice fold. Then I take a pin and I put that through my center spacer. Then I run the pin through each of the corner holes and it doesn't have to be in order like this. It can be whatever order you want to your pinwheel. Then you just run it through the center, just like that. And then you're going to attach it to the pencil. See, it actually works. Pinwheel. Ooh. Now, you can also use a button and a wire and attach it to a skewer and that also works. This would be really cute in a centerpiece at a bridal shower or a baby shower or even in cupcakes. So let's see it again. Here we have the softened pinwheel and the pin that I'm now going to run through the center and then through each of the corner points and then through the center of the pinwheel. You want to make sure when you attach this to the pencil or to the skewer, if you want the pinwheel to actually um, turn nicely, you want to leave it loose so that there's um, enough space for the wind to catch in there because that was what that's what will make it work. And here again is the, the skewer with the button still cute. So let's make smaller ones for cards. We're going to use the small pinwheel and a spacer. And just like the large pinwheel, we're going to snip the corners to the diagonal and then we're going to make sure each of the holes are clear with pokey tools. Now this particular pinwheel is not going to spin, though if you were to put it on a pin, just like we did with the big one, you could make it spin. But this one we're going to put on a card, so I don't think we really need it to spin. So I'm going to go ahead and soften the corners where the holes are, just to help it um, look better so it's not a fold. And then I'm going to gently help the, the corners to the center. With this particular technique, you want to use a brad with a long stem. You insert the brad through the center, and just like the big pinwheel, you insert through each of the holes in the corner. Um, the, one, the brad that I'm using here is not a brad with a long center, which is why I'm fiddling, or a long stem, which is why I'm fiddling with it a lot. Ok, 
Okay, there we go. Out through the back. There we go. Fold fold the brad. An easier way to do it is through the back. And this way you can use a brad with a short stem. You're going to fold or bend over each of the corners and insert the hole, insert the brad into each of the holes. This makes life so much easier. So now we're going to want to cover the brad stem that's showing. And I'm going to use a little button. See? Cute as can be. Little foam tape on the back. And now I'm going to attach it to my card. Cute as can be. Our cut ups pinwheel die is an easy way to make pinwheels for cards or favors. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Thank you.